Rivalries have always been one of the biggest parts of the NFL. Every year, NFL fans always look forward to when their favorite team plays their most hated rivals. NFL rivalries are often some of the most watched NFL games because people are excited to see historic NFL matchups like the Packers vs. the Bears and the Ravens vs. the Steelers and many, many more. Some of these rivals, in fact a lot of them are in the same division which means we get to see them play every year. Unfortunately, not all these rivals are in the same division. In fact, some of them aren't even in the same conference, which means we only get to see them face off in regular season play every four years. I think it would be great if the divisions changed so we could see these rivalries happen more, maybe even every year. Not only do some of these divisions take away some potentially great rivalries, some of them are just, well, unbalanced. It's been like this for a while now, but it's especially noticeable this year. On one end, you have the NFC East, which is arguably the worst division in NFL history. And on the other end, you have the divisions like the AFC North and the NFC West, which have multiple potential contenders. The NFL divisions haven't been completely balanced for a while now, but it has been extremely obvious this season. Not only are the divisions unbalanced, but some things just don't make sense. The Dallas Cowboys shouldn't be in the NFC East, and there are multiple other examples. NFL division realignment has always been a fun idea to think about, so in this video I realign the NFL divisions in a way that would give us even more great rivalries, make the divisions more balanced, and make sense geographically. The divisions will partly be made up of where the teams are on the map, but they will also be made in a way where we can see some great rivalries occur every season. Now, before I get into it, I just want to be clear. I don't think this will happen, at least not soon. This is all just for fun and your enjoyment, and the chances of the NFL actually realigning the divisions are pretty low. Once again, this is just for fun, and I hope you enjoy. First off, there's now eight divisions for eight different regions in the United States. There's no longer an NFC and an AFC. All the divisions are decided based on location. Now, with that out of the way, I'll finally get into the divisions. The first division is the Northeast Division. This division was pretty easy for me to make. The four teams in it are the New England Patriots, the New York Jets, the New York Giants, and the Buffalo Bills. This division is pretty much the current AFC East, except instead of the Miami Dolphins, we have the New York Giants. This division has a Buffalo Bills team on the rise, an historically good and still solid New England Patriots team. It also has the New York Giants and the Jets, who aren't great right now, but have been pretty good in the past and have potential to be good again in the future. This division also has a couple good rivalries, like the Battle of New York City where the Jets take on the Giants, the Patriots versus the Jets, and we would even get to see the rematch of the Patriots-Giants Super Bowls twice a year. The next division is the Mid-Atlantic Division, and this one is made up of the Philadelphia Eagles, the Pittsburgh Steelers, the Baltimore Ravens, and the Washington football team. The Ravens and the Steelers have been good teams in recent years, and even though the Eagles and football team haven't been great this season, I think they still can have solid futures. This division would also have some great rivalries that we would get to see on a yearly basis. First, we have the Steelers-Ravens rivalry, which we already see twice a year, but it's probably one of the best rivalries in football. And we also get the Eagles and football team rivalry, which isn't too big of a rivalry right now, but I think it would be good to keep it. Then we have the rivalries that we only see every four years. First, the battle for Pennsylvania, where the Steelers take on the Eagles, and then the Ravens football team rivalry, which is a pretty pointless rivalry, but by putting these teams in the same division, it could get a little more interesting. Next up is the Southeast Division, which consists of the three Florida teams, the Miami Dolphins, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and the Jacksonville Jaguars, and the one Georgia team, the Atlanta Falcons. Now, I'll admit, I think this division takes away some really good rivalries from some of these teams, and the rivalries that replace them in this division really aren't that great, but I do think this may be an opportunity to start some new ones. The Falcons and the Buccaneers are currently in the same division, but they don't have much of a rivalry. However, the Buccaneers and the Dolphins have a bit of a rivalry, and that could definitely get bigger if they are in the same division. The Jaguars don't really have any rivalries outside of their current division, but I think they could potentially start a small one with one of the other teams in the division, potentially another one of the Florida teams. In terms of these teams' talent, I think it's a pretty solid division. The Buccaneers have looked pretty good this year, and the Falcons haven't been too bad either as of late. The Dolphins have been good and appear to have a good future ahead of them with Brian Flores and Tua Tungamailoa, and I think if the Jaguars are able to get some good picks in the draft and some free agency signings in the future, they could be solid as well. The rivalries in this division may not be too good, but I think it would be an interesting division going forward. Now, from here on out, the division got a little bit harder to make, and the next division I have is the Central Division. The four teams in this division are the Cleveland Browns, the Cincinnati Bengals, the Indianapolis Colts, and the Carolina Panthers. The rivalries really aren't too good in this division either, but that is pretty much because this division was essentially a dumping ground for teams that didn't have any big historical rivals and didn't have a division yet. We obviously have the battle for Ohio rivalry, where the Browns take on the Bengals, but other than that, there really aren't too many rivalries here. However, this division has a few pretty good teams and a few teams that could be good in the future as well, so I think it's a pretty solid division overall. The Browns have improved a lot this year, and the Colts have looked good as well. The Bengals could be good in the future with Joe Burrow, and with Matt Rule and Joe Brady, I think the Panthers have a good future ahead of them as well. 
This division doesn't really have any great rivalries, but this division does have a few pretty good teams overall and a few teams that could be good in the future, so I think it's a solid division. Now onto the South Division, which consists of the Houston Texans, the Dallas Cowboys, the New Orleans Saints, and the Tennessee Titans. This division finally takes the Dallas Cowboys out of the NFC East, and though that does remove some historical rivals like the Cowboys against the Giants and the Eagles, I think it's safe to say it makes a lot more sense for the Cowboys to be in the South than where they are right now. Even without some of the Cowboys' current division rivals, they can still finally start a Texas rivalry with the Texans. The Cowboys and Texans have only played a few times in their history, but in that time the games that they've played are usually good, and the last two games both went to overtime. The Cowboys also have a small rivalry with the Saints, that would probably become bigger if they both played in the same division. The Texans-Titans rivalry is already one of the biggest rivalries for both of these teams, and it would continue to be played twice a year if both these teams were in the same division. This division makes sense rivalry-wise, and there are multiple very talented teams with good futures ahead of them. This division makes a lot of sense, and I think it would be very good overall. The Midwest division is up next, and this is the only division that is the same as one of the current NFL divisions. This division is made up of the Chicago Bears, the Detroit Lions, the Green Bay Packers, and the Minnesota Vikings. These teams have been in the same division for almost 60 years, and I see no reason why that streak should end now. The current NFC North is one of the only NFL divisions that actually makes sense geographically, and in terms of rivalries, we have some great ones. We obviously have the Packers-Bears rivalry, which is the oldest rivalry in football and is one of the best rivalries in football as well. In fact, pretty much every team in this division has a rivalry with someone else in this division, and the history is so rich. If any division should stay the way it currently is, it should definitely be this one. This division has had so much talent for decades now, and I just don't think that will end soon. The Packers are a great team, and the Vikings have been solid for a few years now as well. The Bears also have good history, and the Lions have had some good seasons in the past as well. The current NFC North makes perfect sense as it is, and I believe the only thing that should change about it is its name. Next up is the Mountain Division, which is made up of the Kansas City Chiefs, the Denver Broncos, the Las Vegas Raiders, and the Arizona Cardinals. This division is the current AFC West, without the Chargers and replacing them with the Arizona Cardinals. Due to the Chargers moving to LA a few years ago, I think the Arizona just makes a little more sense in this division. The teams in this division are a bit more spread out geographically than some of the other divisions so far, but that is because the NFL has so many more teams on the east side than it does in the west. In terms of talent, this division is actually very good. The Chiefs are obviously one of the best, if not the best, team in the NFL right now, and the Cardinals have been pretty good this year and look like they have a good future ahead of them as well. The Chiefs, Broncos, and Raiders have some good history being in divisions together, and I think this division would be a pretty good division overall. The final division is the Pacific Division, which is made up of the Seattle Seahawks, the two LA teams, the Rams and the Chargers, and the San Francisco 49ers. This division is the NFC West minus the Cardinals and the Chargers to replace them. I think the LA teams need to become rivals at some point, and putting them in the same division is the best way to do that. The Seahawks and the 49ers have had some interesting games over the past decade or so, and keeping them in the same division would obviously continue to see them play twice a year. This division also has some good talent as well. The 49ers made it to the Super Bowl last year, and the Seahawks and Rams have also been good this season. The Chargers haven't really been great, but it looks like they have a good future with Justin Herbert leading the way. That's going to do it for my division realignment. Let me know what you agree or what you disagree with in the comment section below. Let me know if you see any interesting new matchups or rivalries that could start if these divisions actually happened. Like I mentioned earlier, I don't believe we will see an NFL division realignment, at least not soon, but I thought this could be a fun idea and an entertaining video idea. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun for me to make these hypothetical divisions, and if you liked watching this video as much as I liked making it, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Once again, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next video.